Taking a look at today's interest rate markets, let's look at the 10-year note futures as they continue to move higher once again today. 10-year note futures higher now for a sixth consecutive session. And today we're looking at that December future, which is now the lead month future, moving to new contract highs. Currently priced at 115 spot 15, so on the middle of the 115 handle. Driving factors today, a few different things. Uh, Fed speak this morning, as well as central bank dialogue and a very strong note auction uh, results uh, midday here today. So looking at this morning, we had a couple of Fed officials talking about policy. Now, I think this will be it before the announcement next Wednesday from the Fed. Uh, they should enter the quiet period here. And with that, uh, we continue to uh, get reiteration that they expect rates to start moving lo lower starting next week. And again, the expectations are building, I think, uh, into next week's announcement as to uh, the pricing structure in the treasury markets moving forward. So I think that's one of the primary drivers. Couple that with central bank dialogue as far as rates in other parts of the world. It does appear that other central banks, after initially dropping in some of the parts, some parts of the globe, uh, possibly reiterating, uh, re-establishing uh, rate cutting policies in the fall. The third thing was a very strong reaction to the note auction today. Uh, Three-year note auction, uh, strong bid-to-cover ratio, as well as strong indirect bidders, some of the strongest on record. So it does appear that demand from foreign buyers of U.S. debt continues to maintain, and that was a concern. And I think at least short-term, uh, that calmed some of the concerns with a very strong demand for the three-year note auction today. Now, looking at the uh, yields, 10-year yield is down six basis points today to 364 basis points. And the yield curve is moving lower across the curve. We're seeing buying pressure pretty much across the curve today. Now, I also want to point out that two-year, 10-year yield um, spread is holding on to a positive yield once again today, about four basis points currently. So we came out of the inversion last week, and now we're continuing to hold it. And uh, again, uh, a lot of market participants, a lot of market observers have been discussing this as we have been in the longest inversion on record prior to about a week and a half ago. And now, once again today, we're still holding in a positive yield curve from that two-year out to the 10 and then the 20s and 30s. So the markets are adjusting for the prospect of lower rates. And uh, we're seeing, again, a very strong reaction in today's markets in anticipation of that announcement next week.